Hello everyone, this is Avdes from the Minecraft Bells and uh, today's episode is about a um, discovery uh, that I made on YouTube, I did not invent it and its name is Bud Switch it, it was invented by um, a YouTuber by the name of Ethos Etho and his channel is named Ethos Lab, that's it and this is it it's in my opinion it's this is an amazing uh, creation because it allows you to detect uh, some changes uh, on a on a block not so much as a, a pressure pad or something but for example by placing a block here you can detect if this thing is changed and you oh see even if I remove a block this can be this can be useful um, well uh, you we could uh, this was known this fact that the water flow changes the flows by by changing the block beneath, beneath it beneath uh, sorry uh, uh, close to it but it was one time thing you couldn't reset it and now with pistons and thanks to that brain of his <laughs> uh, Ito's brain <laughs> um, we ha now have a way to reset it and this is it and um, as I found this I got so overwhelmed that I decided man I have to do something that uh, uses this and I went nuts and creating created something that uh, doesn't even worth the trouble to make <laughs> which is and it's right here it's a a automated farm that detects when the crops are fully grown and uh, take uh, makes this uh, make uh, activates these pistons and collects the seeds and the wheat how this works is that um, as the, the the seeds grow they will change the block next to the the water and uh, I don't know if you know this but uh, apart from this basic level of growth there are seven other uh, which means the, the basic to the full grown wheat and what I, what I build is I just <laughs> created this crazy circuit and basically what it does it memorizes each time that the wheat grows and as soon as it detects six changes uh, seven sorry seven changes on the the wheat growth uh, will activate this it would be great to watch it in action uh, but as you know the 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 oh see one and the power goes all around and see the first one is already off if it grows again this one will go off and this end gate will power on and it's connected to this one and so on and so forth so well we got lucky and as soon as the grasses grows again the system will uh, activate again and so on and so forth well this looks uh, a bit complicated but it's not it's just seven uh, RS normal latches all uh, above each other and the this is the first one, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Uh, they are all connected, so that they can only they can uh, the first uh, one gets activated at the first click, and uh, allows the second one to be uh, activated uh, on the next click. If they if we didn't connect them to each other like such 
they will all uh, activate on the first click and the crops would not be ready to 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 be gathered um, so well that's it and then the RS knowledges are connected to end switches and gates uh, precisely and um, well ultimately it it comes to the uh, crop collection I will just speed it up let's say uh, I have some bone meal oh yes I have some bone meal and I'll just simulate the growth of the oh, see and that one will be off soon see wow then another one and this one will be off and if it would grow again that one would be off see and another one and another one there's only one left let's do it by finish finishing the growth of the wheat with bone meal let's see if I count it right there it goes and collects Uh, of course we didn't get anything because uh, the crops weren't grown but that's okay you the point is that you've seen it in in action and I will replant oh first I will res reset this so that the pistons retract right here and I'll have to use the hoe now and replant and as soon as I do this I can come here see be careful that it changes once and it will turn that one off this one right here I think yes and you have to come right here and reset it so that uh, it won't be short uh, so now we just had m we just go home and wait until the crops grow it can do, it can vary from uh, a day and night cycle to several day and night cycles uh, so yeah I will have the link for the tutorial on this on the description which will be on the ethos channel he deserves the likes the favorites and the subscriptions um, because he's a really really uh, invented inventive and creative and good at using um, redstone and uh, I sure did subscribe to him and watch several videos I haven't yet uh, watched all of them he has some mob traps and, so, and stuff like that so well this is an unpractical way to have a automated farm <laughs> way more complicated than my self regeneration regenerating house um, well, oh, see we got some growing wheat right here and bam off well if you like redstone you will probably appreciate the trouble that I had building this if you don't you'll say you're nuts <laughs> and you'll probably be correct with that assumption <laughs> and well I see I think he, it's it's all for to for today and well I hope you like it uh, I don't hope you <laughs> will use it because it's it's not it's not very very 
easy to, to create but well tell me what you think I'll see you guys next time and well thanks for watching bye bye